everyone. Happy Sunday. How are you? Welcome, welcome. We, excuse me, we are live. Here we go. What's up? How are you? Make sure you say hey when you're hopping on. All right, we are ready to go. We're doing um, our last St. Patrick's Day craft of the season today. Um, so we're going to be using some cute little shamrock stuff and some little some handkerchiefs and some Scrabble letters. Hi, Laura. Um, so we are getting going. Let me lower my volume so I can say hey to everybody. Hello, hello. Make sure that you're saying hi when you hop on. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Excuse me, if you are watching this on the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay below. Tell us um, where you're watching from. And yeah, so anyway, hello again. Um, happy Sunday. Um, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody had a great week. We are doing St. Patrick's Day tonight. I've got some fun little glitter shamrocks and some handkerchiefs that we're going to use. Um, so simple project tonight, but still fun, still very cute. Um, and I'm excited. So let's get into this. Um, don't forget that um, to say hello when you're hopping on, like and comment um, below. And then also, if you love this, please, um, please, oh my gosh, guys, I'm losing my train of thought here. If you love this video, please make sure that you spread the word with it on your page. Um, all right, so let's get going, guys, tonight. So I'm going to, do I need to do this one more? Well, that's too bright. Goodness gracious. Okay, one down. There we go. All right, so can you see what I'm working on? I don't know. Can you see it? You can almost see it. Sort of, kind of. Let me scooch this back a little. Next week I might do a different um, a different setup. We'll have to see. So anywho, all right, let's get going. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. So tonight we're going to do um, a little St. Patrick's Day hanger. Um, Laura, what does LSH mean? Sorry, I'm just not good at this. All right, so um, I'm gonna we're gonna start off. So it's gonna be like a little St. Patrick's Day hanger, um, something cute. Hi, mom. Um, so I'm gonna use one of these little canvases from the Dollar Tree, which it's the flat kind, so not the kind that has the frame inside. Um, and these are good. They're just a little bit, a little stiffer. Um, and I don't want a frame on this one. I might create a frame for this one, but I don't want one already built in. So um, we're starting with this. Oh, thanks, Mom. How funny. I just didn't like want to do anything to my hair today. So I just, it was like all greasy and stuff. So I just put it in a braid. Uh, so thank you, huh? It was supposed to be ish. Oh, yeah, you can see ish. I know. I feel like, I don't know what happened this week. We've been doing so well with like being able to see. Um, and then like something happened. I'm not really sure what here. I don't know. We'll We'll make it work, right, guys? We'll make it work. I'm trying to like, see if I can, I don't know. Oh, that made it worse, huh? Oh, geez. Well, we will make this work. We'll figure it out, right guys? You can sort of see what I'm doing. So we're just gonna go with it. All right, so we're gonna start off with one of these canvases. And again, we're gonna use um, some, we're gonna do some St. Patrick's Day stuff tonight. So we're starting off with one of these, what is this? Eight by eight square canvases flat from the Dollar Tree. Um, thanks, Lara. Um, I'm just gonna just scooch this open somehow. Um, so how is everyone? Make sure that you're saying hello when you hop on um, and telling us where you're watching from. If you're new, if you're an old friend, we'd love to see everybody. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this open. How was everybody's week? Let me know. Um, here, here's the first um, question for everybody. Did you get snow today? We got, um, we got snow today. Not like, I'm not saying it like snowed and it stuck to the ground or anything. Um, yes, Laura, you know, what's funny when you were talking to me about using this, um, I was like, I have some of these cause I didn't know what I was going to make tonight. Um, and so you said that and it made me think how I have one of these. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Liz. Um, so it made me think of them that I had some of them, Laura. So I was like, yes, this, so it gave me an idea for what to use tonight. So thank you. Um, thank you so, so much. So fun fact, guys, tonight we're not going to paint. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to know who had snow today. Mom said she got some snow. We got a little bit of snow. Hi, Auntie Kim. Um, so if you got snow today, drop a comment below, a little, maybe a little snowflake or something. Oh, we had some popcorn before this. 
Uh, weekends are our cheats, right? So we had some popcorn before this, so I'm like wicked thirsty. Um, all right, so here we go. We're not going to do any painting tonight. Um, it's just going to be, I mean, we're going to use a paintbrush, but not for paint. So what my thought is, guys, is I'm going to take this flat 8x8 canvas, right? So flat, not the kind with the frame. All right, who got snow? So Barbara got snow, Laura got snow, we got snow, mom got snow, who else got snow? So what my thought is, guys, is um, Dollar Tree had these like Irish little handkerchief scarf things and I got a bunch of them and I'm, I'm probably only going to use this one and that's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Surprise that you got snow in Foster Gloucester. Um, but so I got a bunch of these and I'm probably only going to be using this one, which is fine. I could probably wear some of the other ones. Um, and I was like, cause I was like, I have, you know, St. Patrick's Day scrapbook paper and all that. And I wanted something different for a background. So my thought is we're going to Mod Podge the center, so this green polka dot part, onto our canvas, and that will be our background for this little hanger. Um, so that's kind of my thought with this one. So, anywho, um, I'm trying to think. I had something I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight, and I knew that I needed to write it down because now I'm going to forget. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so I'm going to grab my, um, my Mod Podge. I think I'm going to go with matte for, the, no, we'll go gloss. We'll go gloss. That's fine. Go for the gloss. So gloss, gloss Mod Podge. Hi, Bob. Um, I got some of those and a red buffalo. Oh, that's funny. Um, so I'm going to throw some Mod Podge down, grab a paintbrush. Um, oh, Shugs, what did I want to talk to you guys about? Now I can't remember. But anywho, so, excuse me, what was everybody up to this weekend? We, um, we had... Like I said, it wasn't like massively busy, but we did things, which was fun. Um, and yeah, so to, oh, but so one of the things we did, um, so you know how we like to watch, um, a movie before this, we usually like get, eat dinner and, and watch a movie before this, um, which is, it's kind of like our Sunday night, our Sunday night thing. Um, is this going to like work for me or is it not going to work? Mm. Here's my thought. Normally when I Mod Podge scrapbook paper, I, um, oh, also guys, I'm wearing my Shamrock shirt that mom and I got, um, last summer. And I've been like waiting to wear it since last summer. Um, and I never even tried it on. Um, and it didn't really fit last summer, but we've lost weight. So now it fits and I'm wicked excited. Um, but anyway, so I wore my Shamrock shirt for, for tonight's, um, thing. But so normally when I Mod Podge scrapbook paper, I would cut it out. I would cut it out first. Um, <laughs> Bob, you're funny. Um, but I think what I'm going to do with this is just Mod Podge the, the fabric down and then just cut around it when it's done. Especially since it's thin, we can pull that off. So anyway, um, so we always watch a movie. Well, always, usually we watch a movie before this. So today's movie was Independence Day. Classic, right? Um, which we didn't really realize how old that movie was until you saw um, the Twin Towers were in it. So you can always, I mean, not unfortunately, you can always kind of gauge um, at least at least how old something is um, by that, which was kind of nuts. But anyway, so we're watching Independence Day, but we got, um, we had a, an, a <laughs> an unintelligent TV, right? A not smart TV. Um, so we finally got ourselves a smart TV and we got um, like a sound bar thing with it. I, I don't know. Um, it has like a subwoofer and stuff. Um, it's so super cool. So we're gonna we're started we're watching movies that um are like action packed so that way we can really feel the effect of the sound equipment. Um it's so cool. <laughs> Um, so it's been really fun, but we're in the middle of Independence Day because man, that is a long movie. Um, plus the DVD Bob had, because Bob has like 9 million movies, not really, but like he's got lots of movies. Um, and, um, so the, the version had like a special edition for it. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to, I have like so much Mod Podge on my brush here. I'm trying to like just use it all. Um, it has a special edition, so it makes the movie like two and a half hours long. So we're going to finish it afterwards. Um, but it's been super cool watching on the, the TV with the sound and everything. I love it. <laughs> Oh, so anywho, um, all right, so here we go. <sighs> but yeah, so yesterday, that was our adventure yesterday was getting that, um, 
and we went to some consignment shops. I think you guys know this, right? We've, I've talked about this before. And I'm just laying this down, guys. And I'm going to get Mod Podge on me, and that's okay. Um, but, yeah, we, we like to go to consignment shops. Um, so yesterday we hit a few down in, like, the Warwick area. Um, really cool. We didn't get anything. Uh, I got Actually, I shouldn't say that. I got a couple of things I can use for crafts. Um, yeah, Mom, we'll have to do a movie night because it's really, really cool. Um, but so, um, we, I got a couple of things to use for crafts, which like big surprise there. Right. Um, but, um, just really cool places. People have just such beautiful things. You know what I mean? Like you just kind of, I don't know. It's just pretty awesome to see everything. I'm going to throw a quick coat of Mod Podge on top of this. Um, and then I'll hit it with the, the heat gun just to give it a little bit of a dry. So what did you guys do this weekend? What were you guys up to this weekend? We kind of just, well, we did we did some work around the house. You know it was cool today, um, you know, in between the snow and the rain. Although I don't, it didn't really rain here. Um, oh, my fabric is a bubble in here. What are we doing here, guys? Um, but it, it didn't really rain. It just snowed here for like a hot second. But um, we, or Bob really, did um, work outside kind of like starting to, clean everything up a little and we saw that there were some things budding which was awesome <laughs> yeah okay Bob we watch a horror movie um and yeah so how many people are starting to see like um like things starting to bud in their yard which is wicked awesome um we saw we have these like beautiful flowers in the front and I can't oh, bearded bearded something what are they some somebody help me it's a flower bearded Mom, what are those flowers in our front yard called? I can't remember. Um, bearded lilies, bearded irises, bearded bearded something, but they're gorgeous. Um, so they're starting to come up. They're starting to pop up, which was so cool to see. Um, and hey, like almost 7.30 and there was still, that's it, ti tiger lilies? They're bearded tiger lilies? Because there's a bearded involved. I can't remember what. Um, but yeah, so we... Um, we saw those starting to bud and yeah, it was so awesome that it was still light out. Um, so we're, you know, just kind of talking about what we're going to do with the yard and all different things. Um, you know, kind of just, it's amazing to think like we've already, and I love winter. So I think that's why I, oh, I need to, you know, it would be very nice for power bearded tiger lilies. Bob's got it. That's what we have. They're gorge. Um, it'd be really nice to have power when I try to use my power things, right? Yeah, I need to plug them in. So, anywho, let me keep going here. Um, so, uh, how's everybody's week this week? Did you everybody have a good week? Um, I had a super blast this week because I got to craft like live twice or three times technically. So Sunday night I was with you guys, which was awesome. And we made um, the Easter bunny out of paint sticks. And then Monday night, I came back just for funsies, and we did a quick shelf sitter, St. Patrick's Day. And then Tuesday night, I got to do like a Zoom craft tutorial with um, my college that I graduated from. And that was so much fun. I'll have to show you. I have it hanging over here. I'll have to show you what we made. Because um, I think it might be something cute we could do live, or it could be something cute we could do like a Zoom craft party with all of us too. So... Um, drop a comment below if like us, cause I did some, I did a zoom craft party in the fall. Um, and I would love to do one again. So drop a comment if you would like to do, um, if you'd want to participate in like, so it'd be like when you can do a craft party in person, but we would do it via zoom. Um, it was pretty fun in the fall. So I'd love to do it again. So drop a comment if that's something you'd be interested in, um, whether you're watching live or on the replay. So again, if you're just joining us, cause I can see more, more people coming on. Uh, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches, and we are doing a St. Patrick's Day craft tonight. Um, I just finished Mod po Whoops, don't peel it up. I just finished Mod Podging this scarf down onto this um, 8x8 canvas from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to make just like a cute little hanger for it. <laughs> okay, Mom. Um, so I'm, I have to cut the excess off, but so far this is what we've got going on, all right? So I am going to... I don't want to cut the excess off just yet because it's still still a little tacky tack. So I don't want to cut it off just yet. Want to let it dry. Um, 
So I think I'm just going to fold it under for now, and we'll cut it off. The, yes to a craft night. Just Yes, Laura, after basketball season. Guys, Laura made the cutest um, crafts for her basketball players. Um, and it said, okay, it said, don't – hold on. Laura, what was that quote again? I loved it. It was um, – Oh, Laura, tell me what the quote was that you put, because I can't remember. Don't just win. Oh, shooks. Um, oh, guys, this is, why isn't this sticking? I mean, you know what? Let's just let it do its thing. Let's just chill, Bethany. Just chill. All right, let me just push it down. Make sure it's all adhered. I think what I'm going to do is throw a little bit of Mod Podge on the edges to get that going. Um, just to give one more good coat to it. And then we'll keep going. So, um, but yeah, so anywho. Oh, guys, I'm so upset. Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. I loved that. I thought that was so, so cool. <sighs> so yeah, so anywho, yeah, so we, um, so we, we had a pretty, a pretty chill weekend. It definitely was not eventful. Um, we got some, what did we get? Oh, we did, um, we got takeout on Friday night with my parents, which was really funsies. And we played this game. Anybody ever played, um, Sequence? Um, it's like this card game with the board. Um, but we played that on Friday night, which was really fun. Oh, Kama. Hi, Kama. How are you? I missed the Stonehill event due to work, but watched it later in the week and haven't quite finished my craft. Oh, Yay, Kama, thank you so much for joining, Kama. We're so excited. Now, Kama, tell me if I'm just, drop me like a, a yes or no if I'm saying your name correctly. Is it Kama? Um, I want to make sure that I say it right. Um, oh, I'm so sorry we missed you on Tuesday, but I'm so glad that you were able to watch it after um, and join along. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, oh, my gosh, yay. Thanks so much for following and joining us, joining the Count Your Stitches family and being here with us tonight. So I'm just going to let that all just kind of dry in place. Um, I wonder if it's having a hard time sticking because it's a canvas and not com oh like camera oh camera oh cool I like that that's awesome um, well thank you for joining us um, Liz yeah we, so mom and dad really love sequence and then taught it to Bob and I um, so we played that the other night which was fun um, and then okay so we're gonna plug in the hot glue gun because we're gonna glue some things down so normally guys. I'm not a glitter person, okay? I don't really like get buying things with glitter on them. Um, it's really not my my thing. Um, however, excuse me, um, I found these little shamrock cutouts. <gasps> excuse me, guys, I'm so sorry. They're foam, they're super thin, which is fine. Um, but they are glitter and the glitter doesn't seem to be cut. My gosh, I have the hiccups. What a time to get the hiccup. Oh, Hazel, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. I'm so glad you're able to join us, and you're so sweet. Um, hi, Carrie. Excuse me. Hopefully I can get rid of these hiccups, guys. Um, so the glitter's not really coming off, so I figured we can work with this. And it's thin, so I, and I, I think I got them in a pack from Dollar Tree probably, or I don't know, something like that. Um, well, maybe the glitter's coming off a little. That's okay. We'll be fine. And if we really want, I can um, always Mod Podge over this and that'll help seal some of it in. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Welcome. Guys, I am loving seeing all these faces. Make sure that you're commenting. Make sure you're saying hi. I want to chat. Where are you coming from? Hazel, where are you coming from? Camel, where are you coming from? Um, Deborah, where are you coming from? Let me know. This is so exciting, guys. Um, so we're going to put this kind of in the corner, I figured. And then I was thinking like, okay, I want... Um, I want to put something in this top corner where it'll be kind of empty. Whereas I know the other night we, when we made the shamrock shelf sitter, we just put the shamrock in the bottom. We kind of left the rest of it blank. That was kind of the look I was going for more of a shabby chic, but I don't know. This is more of a cutesy St. Patrick's day, you know, kind of not as rustic, just kind of cute. Um, I actually might hang this when I go to work. Um, so Oh, I know what I want to talk to you guys about. Yes, remind me, Spirit Week. Just remind me, Spirit Week, if I can't remember, okay? I wanted to talk to you about Spirit Week. Um, so, anywho, so I might hang this at work. Um, so it's kind of cute. Kids might, you know, kids will like it, whatever. So 
we're gonna, I wanted to put something cute in the top and I was gonna put, um, you know, I have the Scrabble letters that I love to use. Um, and I was gonna put happy St. Patrick's Day and then I was like, I always do happy whatever, like happy Valentine's Day, you know, Merry Christmas, whatever. So I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So um, what we're gonna do is I have my Scrabble letters and they're gonna spell um, luck o the Irish. And I thought that might be a little bit cuter um, than just Happy St. Patrick's Day. And it's a little bit smaller, so it'll fit nicer. So that's what we're going to glue on. Um, and then I have some jute cord that I got from Walmart. So it's thicker than the, that other one that I use from Dollar Tree. Um, Hazel, Bradford, you're in the UK? Guys, Count Your Stitches is international? What? Um... You're from the UK, Hazel? Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is awesome. Hazel, you literally just made my whole night. Well, welcome. I'm so glad that you're with us. Hi, Krista. Um, hi again, Barbara. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So, Hazel, goodness gracious, what time is it there? It's, aren't you five hours ahead of us or something? That's crazy. Um, guys, yes, Count Your Stitches is international. Like, whoop, whoop, we've made it. <laughs> Um, yeah, drop some likes and, and make sure you spread this out on your page too if you love our video. Um, oh my gosh, I'm like so excited. Um, but so I have this juke cord. Hi, Ray. That's thicker than the one I normally use. So I'm wondering if I could do like a, a border with it, um, to kind of finish off this look. I don't know. That might not, that might not, I don't know. I'm definitely going to use it for the hanger though. Um, hi, Amber. Yeah, I was going to say, Hazel, it's got to be late there, huh? Oh, are you only four hours ahead right now because we just switched over on our um, on our daylight savings, right? And your daylight savings is later. Um, that's, oh my gosh, super cool. Thanks for watching so late. My goodness gracious. Uh, I'm so glad we could, we could catch each other. So, all right, now that this is heated up, here's a quick pro tip for you guys. And I'm hardly a pro, um, but I just like, I like to call this a pro tip, even though I'm not. Hi, Amber. Um... So what, when you want to put a new glue stick in, that way you don't have to worry about, um, oh, you're so sweet, Hazel. Um, the, so you don't have to worry about it falling out. You put a little, I think I might've said this before. You put a little dab of hot glue on the end of your new stick before you put it in. That way it sticks to the old one and now it's not going to fall out on you. So now you got that ready to go in, boom, done. All right, let us begin with gluing down the shamrock. So I'm going to put it in the corner um, I just have to make sure I put it in the right area. Guys, this isn't sticking. Why is this not? We may have to use some hot glue, which is fine, which is fine. We make the, we make it work, right guys? We flexible. We flexible. You know what? You know what? Let's do that now. Let us finish this. We're going to cut around the edges so that we know what we're working with. Um, so this is what I want to talk to you guys about because I need some help. So this week, so I work at a school. I've told you guys that before. So I work at a school um, and this week is um, spirit week. Now, and I'm sure any of you who either have children or work in a school or both, you know, tomorrow's like a distance learning day or whatever um, and a professional development day. So I forget what tomorrow's, I think tomorrow's like school spirit day, which kind of stinks that it's school spirit day when we're not going to be there. But anywho, the kids can wear it, you know, for fun and send us pictures and we can post those and all that fun stuff. Um, but so, and then Tuesday is um, sports day. So you can wear your favorite team. So obviously, who am I going to wear? Who am I going to wear on favorite sports day? I'm not even going to say it. Everybody comment. Who is Bethany going to wear on favorite sports teams day? What 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 am I going to wear? You tell me. I don't even have to tell y'all. You know. Um, drop a comment if you know. And then I forget what some of the other ones are. But one of them. Um, oh, come on. Everybody knows who I'm going to wear. Drop the comments. Who am I? What team am I going to wear on Tuesday for favorite team day? Come on, guys. Drop those comments. Who am I going to wear? You tell me. But one of the days is, uh, there it is. There they are. See, y'all know me. Yeah, ba based on my, ch yeah, based on my chair. <laughs> Fun fact, I don't have a Brady jersey. Um, I have an Edelman jersey. Bob got that for me a while, a long time ago. Um, yes, everybody, that's what it is, right? So we're going to wear Patriots like, I have Patriot sneakers. 
Um, I don't have Patriots pants, but I have Patriots sneakers. I have obviously Patriots shirt. I can't wear a hat, I don't think. I could probably if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, we're going to go like, boom, Patriots. Um, and then one of the days is... Uh, then we've got like a crazy hair day, so I'm going to have to figure out something crazy for that. Um, I think one of the days is mismatch day. I think, do I have too many days at this point? There's a school spirit day, sports day, crazy hair. All right, crazy hair, mismatch. And then the day I wanted to talk to you guys about is literary character day. So I need help with who I should dress up as for favorite literary character day. So, you know, favorite character out of a book. So I work with kids, no, younger kid, not high school. Um, so I'm trying to decide who to dress like. Now, um, I did Mary Poppins um, a while back at a different school. Oh, good, guys, this dried. So we'll worry about these edges later. All right. Um, but yeah, I did Mary Poppins a long time ago. Um, you know what I might do is I might just Mod Podge these edges down. That might work. Guys, this is taking a little longer than I wanted, but I'm, but you know, we're working out. It's okay. Um, so yeah. So who, does anybody have any ideas of like easy, you know, don't need to go to the store? Um, oh, I could do Hermione because when I do the little crimper, my hair gets huge. That's a great idea. Little Red Riding Hood. See, guys, you're like way already ahead of me on this. I'm not good with literary character. Bethany is not a reader, which I don't... It's my own fault. I read slow, so I never like put the time into, you know, being good at it and my fault. So I just need to um, be better at it. And I, you know, hope that I won't instill that one day. I, I love to, I want to instill loving to read in everybody. So anywho, um, oh, this isn't working. What, guys, what is up with me tonight and not being able to Mod Podge things? Um, okay, let's just like, okay, hold on. Please hold. Um, so, yeah, so I need some ideas of who to wear. And wear your Stonehill graduation gown as you roll. Oh, Nathan had the idea for Little Red Riding Hood. I love it. Hi, Judy. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, I love that. Nathan, what a great idea, honey. Um, what was I going to say? Was I supposed to keep my graduation gown, Laura? Oops. Um, I don't know if I have that. Mom, do you have my graduation gown or do you have one of dad's um, that I could do for Hermione? I didn't even think of that. What a good idea. I'm just like literally just pushing this down at this point and it's like not even working. Guys, I'm going to have Mod Podge all over my hands. This is like a hot mess. We might just have to worry about this later. Hot mess express tonight, guys. Wowzers. Okay, forget about it. This is just not... We're going to we're going to worry about this later. Forget it, guys. This is this is real life, right? This is real life. This is real life crafting. Mod Podge all over me, not doing what it want, needs to do. Who cares? We're fine. It's going to look cute anyway. Um, Pippi long stockings, that's a good one. Um, oh my gosh, mom, you have mine and dad's? What? Guys, score. Guess who's going to mom and dad's house this week? And Hermione Granger might be the way we go cuz I can get some volume with that crimper. Goldilock, that's a great one too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man. Okay, now I'm excited. Now I'm super excited about um, Literary Character Day. Thank, this is why I brought it up. I knew you guys could help me. I am still like, the popcorn we had before this, man, I am like, whoo, thirsty. Laura, used your popcorn recipe. When Laura and I were in college, she made, I'm just going to glue the shamrock in the corner now, guys, because since this edges thing is just not happening, so we'll fix it later. Um, so when we were in college, um, Laura made popcorn for us all the time. Um, and it was like God's gift to man. Like her popcorn was just amazing. So she had, I had her teach me how to make it. Um, and that's how I make popcorn from now on. Laura, I even have the whatever brand that, um, that popcorn like butter is. I even get that. I tried like a different brand cause not every store sells that particular brand. Um, and again, like I can't remember brands at all right now. Um, but anywho, so I even have the fake butter to put on it. Total guilty pleasure. It's something Bob and I love. We don't do it all the time. Um, but who cares, right? Who cares? We do it. We can we do us right, and you do you, and hey, that's how it works. Um, 
But I'm so thirsty from the popcorn. But yeah, so Laura taught me how to make the popcorn. And so that's how we still make popcorn today. I love it. So gosh, how many years ago was that, Laura? Like almost 10, 10, like 10, almost 10 years ago. Holy guacamole. That's a long time. All right. So guys, this is a simple one. So here's what we have so far. The Mod Podge is still drying. So that's what you see this like discoloration. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, so here's my question. Um, Yes, I'm ha I know, Laura, flashbacks. And then, Laura, the thing from D.C. today, oh, my gosh. Just such good memories, right? And I can't believe how long ago things were. And I know for other people it's longer, and so you're going to be like, oh, she's whatever. But, you know, we're all processing through our own how we're getting older, right? Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's just crazy. How oh, my gosh, I have to tell you this. So it's amazing how time flies, right? Uh, and I think as adults we realize that. And I, I feel like the older – and tell me if I'm wrong, but the older you get – the quicker you think time flies by. Um, cause I don't remember time flying when I was a kid. Um, like I remember, I specifically remember fifth grade why I remember this. I have no idea, but I specifically remember fifth grade looking at the clock in my, in Mrs. Otto's class and just being like, how is it only 10 o'clock this morning? Like, how do we still have this much time left in the school day? I just, I remember, because fifth grade was rough. I had like a really difficult teacher, right, mom? I had a lot of homework, a lot of homework. I was in like the tag program or whatever it was. And we had a lot to do, all right? There was a lot that little 10-year-olds had to handle. Um, and yeah, I just remember looking at the clock and always being like, it's not even lunch yet. Oh my, it was so funny. Um, but so yeah, the older you get, I feel like the faster time goes. And so I, I, um do reading with our second graders once a week at work. And um, so I read to the class via Zoom. And um, so the little boy, one, one little boy walks by my office every day and he'll be like, well, I see you this week because it's every other week. Um, oh, Laura, okay. All right, have fun, Laura. Have a great night. We'll see you soon, okay? Good luck with your games this week. Um, so this one little boy is walking. So he's like, well, I see you this week. And I said, yep, it's this week. So every day, He's like, okay, I'll see you Friday. I'll see you Friday, right? So we get to Thursday and I said to him, I can't believe tomorrow's already Friday. He goes, I know. He said, these weeks are just flying by. He said, last week, this week, flying by. It was adorable, like a little seven-year-old. <laughs> he was so cute. Um, and I just kept thinking like little ones shouldn't think time flies by. I felt so bad. But all right, so let's get Luck of the Irish on here. So... Question, should I do it um, diagonally or should I do like luck o oh, the Irish? Kind of in like a nice straight down line. I'm think I'm leaning towards doing it down in the line. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, if I should do it in a diagonal or if I should just kind of do it nicely, nicely lined up. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Actually, and I'm thinking... Do I want to do it? Um, luck. Oh, no, we're definitely going to center everything. Okay. So there's where luck will go. And I'm going to separate the letters a little because I think that looks cuter. And then I just want to make sure I'm just placing them all down first. So I'm I'm centering them with kind of the, the left side of my canvas. Um I think I might let them be a little crooked just for fun. Yeah, mom, I think I'm definitely gonna do the straight down. Um, and then, um, but I'm, I'm centering them. I'm centering them, that's what I wanted to do, okay. I need to scooch them up. This is why we place them down first, because I have to scooch them up, because we're hitting the shamrock and we don't wanna do that. So I'm doing luck O the Irish, even though I don't have like a little apostrophe. Um, I'm still, I thought that would just be cuter than luck of, right? It's luck, because it's luck of the Irish, luck of the Irish, you know? So is anybody doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? Did you do anything this weekend for St. Patrick's Day? Um, do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Is that a thing for you guys? I love St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's one of my absolute favorites. Um, all right, I'm going to start gluing this down so we can get going. Hopefully these stick okay and not like when we made the Valentine's thing and they all came unstuck. Um <laughs> So that, did I ever tell you that when I made that little Valentine's Day decoration um, and I used um, the Scrabble letters, but I used it on top of scrapbook paper that we scrapbooked down or Mod Podge down with, um, hi, April, that I um, put down with 
gloss Mod Podge. I literally, all of the num all the letters fell off because the hot glue didn't fit. Or it didn't fit. Yeah, okay. The hot glue didn't um, stick. So I had to use Gorilla Glue for like tiny little letters, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. Um, so any hoobie doobs. So yeah. Um, so that's where we're at right now, guys. I'm putting down my Scrabble letters. And then we'll trim up our sides and make it look all pretty. And, um, oh my gosh, April, don't worry about it. You can always watch the rest later. You know, I'm so glad you could join us now. How's everything, how's everything going, April? Um, so, all right. So, oh, oh, Liz, here's a question for you. So I read to second grade, right? Once a week. Um, does Nate, do Nathan or, um, Nick, Nathan, Nicholas, Nick, Nathan, Nicholas, right? Um, do they have any favorite books that I should read that I should ask the librarian for that I can read? This re this week we read Franklin's Valentine's. I know I was like off with the, I know I was off with the holiday, but the book is about how it's okay to, to miss it and celebrate friendship day. So we went with it. Um, and plus one of the little boys in the class picked it, which I thought was like dwarves. Um, oh yeah. So I was asking, do you guys celebrate St. Patrick's day? Um, I love St. Patrick's Day. I love everything Irish. Um, I would, I think I said this at the beginning of the season, I would decorate our whole house Irish. Um, but that might look, but, but no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, you know, uh, but I would if I could. Um, we have this, oh, though, I, let me tell you though, we have this beautiful piece of um, like ceramic, I'm not even sure. Amber, is it really your favorite holiday? I didn't know that. April, things are good. Dan is here. And my mom, oh my gosh, April. And um, hi, um, hi, April's mom. Hi, Dan. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm trying to think. Yes, Barbara, right? Hi, Holy Day, March 17th. Yes. Anything by Mo Williams. All right, Liz, I'll make sure. I'm going to ask the librarian for something by Mo Williams because Nathan and Nicholas said that it was good. Um, yeah, it's so funny because Bob's always like, what day is... Um, is St. Patrick's Day, and I'm like, huh? How do you not know when St. Patrick's Day is? Um, it's like my faves, but I get it. I mean, he's not Irish, and he didn't grow up Irish or with any, you know, so it's like not a thing. I get it, but yeah, St. Patrick's Day is a thing in this fam, right? It reminds me, you know, Amber, same thing, totally the same thing. I agree with you. St. Patrick's Day just reminds me of Irish Papa, our Irish Papa, um, that's exactly what it makes me think of too. Are y'all make, anybody making like corned beef and cabbage or something like that for St. Patrick's Day? Um, I'm going to have to, I think I might go live Wednesday night to show you what we're making. Um, we're doing semi-traditional. Um, I read to second grade, Barbara, once a week or every other week-ish. I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so, all right, we'll glue these on. But yeah, so I love St. Patrick's Day, which, so St. Patrick's Day, I think is crazy hair day or whatever during this week's spirit week. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to have to, I, you know what I could do? I could go like major curls because it could be kind of like Irish step dancer kind of curls. So I could get, you know, go with the crazy curls um, to go with like my St. Patrick's Day outfit, right? That could work. That could definitely work. All right, here's what we've got so far. Oops. See, yep, this, it's happening, guys. It's not sticking to the gloss finish. I should have known. Um, I might have to Gorilla Glue these again later. We shall see, my friends. We shall see. All right. But yeah, I'm going to have to figure out. But yeah, so tell me, what do we what do we have for St. Patrick's Day if you cook? So, corn. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yes. Barbara, did you have it with um, Peggy? Did you? Is that... Left, oh, left over to make hash. Barbara, I'm coming over. Ah, yeah, I got a pretty good size corned beef for Bob and I, so I'm going to have to, um, I'll probably have some leftovers. So here's what we have so far. What do we think? I know the things are back for you. Giraffes Can't Dance is a great one, and The Day the Crayons Quit. Oh, I love both those ideas, Liz. Okay, I'm going to definitely ask. Thank you. Um, so this is what we have so far. We're going to trim up our edges. Have to have corned beef and cabbage. Yes, and Irish soda bread. Dave's makes the best Irish soda bread. Dave's Market. So I have to go there this week to get some of that. Um, and I'm sure Dan loves, you know, a nice traditional Irish dinner, right? <laughs> Classic. All right, guys. Um, all right, so. Oh, Barbara, that's so awesome. I Yeah, that is so awesome. We used to do that. Maybe again sometime. Maybe sometime, right, when we're all through all of this, right? 
Um, okay, let's see here. You know what I might end up doing at the end, guys? I actually might take sandpaper to this. Once it's completely dry, um, this fabric will be really rough. Um, almost, it'll be stiff, sorry, almost like paper. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to keep it all messed up for now. Um, and live with it while we're on, while we're live. He, he makes it, he hates it though. Wow. He makes it, but he hates it. I'm impressed. <laughs> does, let me ask, does he use the Instapot? Cause I know that's like a faves. Um, we use the crock pot, but does he use the Instapot? Had corned beef tonight at my parents. Nathan, and I listened to, oh, Liz, he's so cute. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, did, um, did the boys love the, their little feature, <laughs> their, their picture out there? Oh, all right. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry. And then I'll sand the edges clean later. Um, so guys, the last step that I have for this one is just to do the hanger. Because um, I don't think I want to do this as a border. I don't know. I do feel like this feels unfinished to me. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should we do, like, should I glue the jute string around so that it's like a border? I don't know. You know what I'm doing? <laughs> I just feel like crock pots and Insta pots and things are good for corned beef. It just makes it easier. So what do you think, guys? Should we put a border of like the jute around? Um, drop some comments. I'm not sure. Amber likes the string. Mom, no. What do you think, guys? I'll go with majority on this one. Yeah, I just, I feel like it needs something. Um, I have St. Patrick's Day ribbon, but it's too wide for what we have left. Yep. Okay. I think we'll go with the string too, guys. I like that idea. I like that. All right. This is going to require, don't get grossed out. I know you guys seem to do this all the time, but this is going to require a lot of like me licking my finger and pressing down. Um, because I don't want to burn myself. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I've got to make sure I keep this brush kind of, this is Mrs. T's brush. I don't want it to get dried up and ruined. We love Mrs. T's brush, right? Um, all right, Kama, I like the strip. Yeah, I think we need a border here. And I, I wish I had thought of it sooner because then I would have had more room. But yeah, we live and learn, right, friends? All right, so let's glue this on and then we'll do, excuse me, we'll do a hanger on the back. My other thought was to do a hanger that had painted beads. Um, however, I didn't know exactly what color I wanted the beads. And so I, I was like, you know what, we'll just do a regular hanger like let the feature be the, 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 um, the glitter and such. So, all right, let's glue this on guys. And then we'll just kind of get to finishing this off. I'm going to do this one piece at a time. We, we do one strip of glue at a time. We don't rush this, um, because hot glue dries rather quickly, even when you use it on its highest setting. Um, it, I'm sorry, even when you use it on its lowest setting, it takes a second, it takes, so, no, I, that's what I wanted to say. Even when you use it on its highest setting, it still dries rather quickly. So um, you wanna work in sections so that way it doesn't dry on you before you need to maneuver it, all right? Another little like pro tip or whatever. Um, so, all right, I'm just gluing this around the edges. getting hot glue all over me, but that's okay. It's for the love of the crafts, right, my friends? Love of the crafts. Oh, but oh, so bring, I'll bring it up since we have some new friends watching now. Um, I was saying how I did a, um, a craft party-ish, right, as craft tutorial type thing with um, Stonehill the other night. And I had done a craft party in the fall we did a, um, a Christmas craft. So I wanted to know if people would be interested in signing up for a Zoom craft party again, um, like the one that I did in the fall. I would love to do that again with you guys. So just drop a comment if you'd be interested in signing up for a Zoom craft party. So it obviously would be different than this. It would be um, limited number of people um, and we'd be on Zoom together so we can chat and go through the craft together. And what I normally do is um, I come up with what we'll make and then I get all the materials for you and then um, send them out to you or drop them off or however we want to we want to do that. Or, you know, if you prefer a list um, or, you know, if we're too far away from each other or something, if you prefer just a list of what you need, um, something like that. Right. So we work that out. So let me know if a, a Zoom craft party would be something you would be interested in, because um, I would love to host one again. And we had a lot of fun with the Stonehill one the other night. Um, 
And I, oh yeah, I have to show you guys. I have fudge and nutter. Um, I'll have to show you guys what we made. It's hanging up over there. So good thing is too, guys, this is hiding a lot of our messed up edges. Oh, yay, April. Okay, awesome. Um, all right, so let's keep going. We're almost there. Well, I'm sort of almost there. Um, all right. Ba -ba -da. So yeah, guys, I think I'll do Hermione Granger. Although I don't know if I... I don't really have a scarf that is um, Gryffindor colors, but um, yeah, Auntie. Okay, Auntie. Um, wonderful. Um, but I'm wondering if I could like just like cut something out on my Cricut that's like the Gryffindor, or not cut on my Cricut. I'm sorry, just print something out on the computer and like pin it to the robe that has the Gryffindor symbol on it to um, just make my costume that way. I loved that. Guys, you had some great ideas. Um, I love the Little Red Riding Hood, too. I'm trying to think if I have um, a red hooded. I have a red coat, but it's not hooded. It doesn't have a hood, so I don't know if I could do that. But I love, love that idea. All right. We are almost around, guys. Ow. Getting a lot of hot glue on us, guys. A lot of hot glue. That's okay. That's okay. All right, and I love this guy. So this jute cord, this is called jute cord, is from um, Walmart. I was just there for a couple of things and I always hit the craft section just to see. You never know. Um, yes, love Harry Potter, Liz. Um, and I just grabbed this. It's thicker than the jute that I get from the Dollar Tree so that I, I can use it for things like this. Um, and I think it'll make a nice hanger too. So I'm excited about it. Ow! Um, but yeah, so... Okay. Ooh. Okay. Here's a random question for you. It just made me think of it when you mentioned Harry, when we were talking about Harry Potter. So fun fact, and I think I was saying this earlier, I, I'm not a big reader. I read slow. So it just never became of in, an interest of mine because I read slow. Um, cause let me tell you, like I got out of high school, barely reading any books. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Uh, <laughs> college too. Um, I, I read the minimum, which is not something I promote. It's just something I was very blessed that I could get away with. Um, but I don't recommend it nor promote it. Um, so Harry Potter, I never read um, the books. I tried. I definitely tried. I gave it, gave it that good old college try. Um, but it just didn't happen. But obviously, you know, like many, I loved the movies. Um, or unlike many, I don't know, I think a lot of people who read the books didn't like the movies as, as much. But anywho, um, so when the last one happened, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be fine. Like, it's cool. Like, it's going to be ending and it's, it is what it is. And then it ended and I'm sitting there like crying because Harry Potter is over. Um, and I don't know, because it's, I think we, the first movie came out, I was young, I mean, I was in elementary school, so Kind of like a, you know, we kind of grew up with them, right? So to have it be over, I was like, oh. Um, oh, and you know what also made me think of that? So we have Disney Plus because, you know, what adult doesn't need Disney Plus in their life? Because that's how I feel. Um, yeah, April, I all the movies, not the books. Yep, I'm. <laughs> yeah, Barbara, I really should try the Audible books. I like, I'm getting into podcasts a little bit. Um so that's kind of like my way into it, right? Um, oh man, guys, I, I scratched myself in my sleep on my chin and it's finally, I just scraped the scab off by accident. Oops. Um, all week though, everybody on my Zooms were like, what happened to you? What happened to you? I'm like, I scratched, I should wear a sign. I scratched myself in my sleep, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I look horrible. Jeez. My hair looks good. Look at my hair. No, my hair, well, my hair, I don't like my hair right now, but anywho, uh, I'm still getting used to the new hair. Um, but I mean, I like my braid, but I didn't do my hair today. <laughs> it was like not happening. Um, not, not wash, nothing, just in a braid, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, so, um, so, you know, what adult doesn't need Disney plus in their right life, right? I love, I love Disney plus. I'm a child at heart. Um, and so I was doing some orders, some craft orders the other day and, um, which I'm in the middle of making slippers right now. Someone ordered a pair of slippers. So cool. Um, I was like, why don't I crochet slippers all the time? This is so cool. Um, definitely a difficult pattern, but now that I've got it, it's really cool. Um, and I feel very accomplished <laughs> that I actually got it done. But so I'm in the middle of a craft project the other day and I, I was like, okay, I'm going to, 
I'm going to go through all the High School Musicals because, you know, that's just me. So I watched all three High School Musicals and got like all the feels <laughs> again because High School Musical was they were like sophomores or something when it, when it started. And I was just I was in high school, but I, I would think I was a freshman when the first one came out. And then they graduated high school. I think that one came out like around the time I graduated college. So I was feeling all their feels at the same time. Oh, my gosh. Um, however, it is so funny to watch a Disney Channel movie, like Disney Channel original movie, like Johnny Tsunami, High School Musical, Cadet Kelly, like any of those, right? And drop some hearts if you're like loving what I'm talking about right now, because Disney Channel original movies were my jam growing up. Um, but it's so funny to watch them now as an adult. Um, like you watch High School Musical and they literally wanted to choose colleges because of where their boyfriend or girlfriend went. I'm like, we don't need to promote that. We choose our college based upon what is the best fit for us. Thank you. Not because of our significant other. Right. Um, and all these just like different things. It was just so funny. Um, but it's so funny to just get like a different perspective when you're an adult watching all of these Disney Channel original movies. And I love them. Um, I also love Disney plus because it has national geographic and I love documentaries um, which Bob does not. So I watch them all. Like when I do my crafts, I put them on my laptop. Um, and I just adore them. And I love anything about the Titanic. Um, and I think a lot of you know that. So not like, I mean, I like the movie, the movie's fine. Um, but I like the, the, the actual historical side of the Titanic and learning about it. Like when we went on our honeymoon, we went to a Titanic museum, um, and all that. So it's it, like, that's a, a big thing of mine. So like I watched, there's like four of them on, on National Geographic on, on, um, Disney Plus, and I watched all of them. <laughs> it's my thing. Um, we're all in this together. Yes, Auntie. I love it. I love it. Yeah, now I'm gonna be singing, guys. Now I'll be singing. Mm. Yes. A uh, Gabby's Gabby Gabriella's solo in that one, right? When she was um oh up against the wall with Troy. Oh my god, I can't even. When she was like looking at his picture, because you know, what high school doesn't have their star basketball player in like a full size picture taped up on the wall? I mean, right? Okay, so ignore the the icky edges, but we've got it, we've got it framed. We got there. It took me like 10 minutes, but because I talk so much, but we got there. Um let's trim these edges off now because we have um a nice piece of rope to hide the rest. Guys, this was a great idea to do the 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 um the string. Thank you very much for for talking me into that one. I'm a fansies. I'm just cutting off some of the big pieces so you don't see it. Um, I might do more later. We'll see. Yeah, it's already starting to stiffen up from the Mod Podge, which is a good thing. It's what we wanted, and then I can sand the rest to perfection later. But that's a little bit better. All right. And let's just throw a hanger on the back of this, guys, and we'll be done. I just want to talk all night with you guys, which a <laughs> big surprise that I want to talk all night, right? Guys, I use so many hand gestures, like, beyond the camera screen that I can't, I forget you can't see. So I have to remember to keep my hand gestures here, right? Because you can't see when I do this that my arms, I mean, I guess you can tell my arms are outstretched, but yeah. I have a bunch of different tripods now. Um, uh oh, I just saw that my live was interrupted. Can you guys see me still? I just saw on my laptop that my live got interrupted. Can you guys still hear and see me? Just drop some comments so that I know that you can still see and hear me. Just want to make sure it's probably from the weather because it's massively windy. Um, but yeah, just make sure. Can you still see and hear me? Drop some comments below. Okay, good. Awesome. I just wanted to make sure. Um, okay, good. I think it's the I think it's the weather that's making everything a little bit blah, 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 tonight. All right, let's drop a drop a hanger on this and call it a night, my friends. Okay, we're not. I don't think I'm gonna do a big hanger. I think I'm gonna do a small one because we put the rope on here, so I don't want it to show too much on the back. So, all right, flip it over. I am going to put these together. All right, and I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a thin hanger just like this. We're not gonna do a fancy hanger. So we gotta get it in the center um, on the back. So the way that I do my hangers, and I explained it the other night in a um, in my live, uh, nope, not in my live, in my Zoom party with Stonehill, 
because I never explained it before, but the way that I like to do my hangers is first, I so I find the center of where I want to put, um, where I want to put the hanger. So I, you know, center top-ish and about like an inch, inch and a half down. And I put like a huge dab of hot glue, all right? Then I take my string that's folded in half. You can do this with just the one piece of string too if you're doing like um, an either side hanger. And, um, good night, Barbara. Um, and then I take it and I place the string in the hot glue with some string on either side so I can kind of stretch it. Nana, hi, you commented successfully because you just said, hi, Beth, can't figure out how to comment. Nana, you got it. Can we all applaud my grandmother right now who, oh, Nana, I don't even know what this means. I just got a notification that says Nana wants to be in your video. I don't know what that means, but she did something cool. But can we all applaud my grandmother who is on Facebook watching a live and commenting? Do, do Amber and I not have the coolest grandmother? I'm only saying Amber because Amber's on it with me right now. Um, but Kelsey and Colton too. But do we not have the coolest grandmother and Irie's great grandmother? All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Now what I do is I put a big old dollop of glue and we're out of glue, guys. Another glue stick, please hold. All right. Let me put another big glob of glue on top over the string. This just reinforces everything. Now, uh, full disclosure, I have never used, um, yeah, right, Cam? My grandma, she the best, she the best. <laughs> Nana is like, Nana is hip to the scene. Like, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Um... <laughs> You're welcome, Auntie. I could never not include them. I just meant that Amber was the one who was watching. You know what I'm saying? Um, but so, um, so full disclosure, I've never used this jute for a string hanger before, so this might not work as well. But so when you put the glue underneath and on top, it kind of makes a nice little seal for it. Um, and then I give it a second or two, or give it like a few seconds to dry-ish. And then I go in and like lick my finger and kind of mold it. <laughs> Again, I know, guys, it's gross, but it works, okay? The other thing you can do is take a popsicle stick put and then put that second layer of glue down and then put the popsicle, put some glue on the ends of the popsicle stick, glue that down. Kind of gives you an extra level of security. I might do that later. We'll have to see. I think we are ready to mold. We are. Oh, that is still massively hot though. Much hotter than it normally is. Ay Dios mio. Oy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um... So I'm just kind of making sure the glue didn't just run everywhere and didn't stay on the string. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? All right. We are almost there. Hi, Papa. Is Papa watching too, Nana? I think I told you this story before, guys, because I know you'll see like Amber. Amber will say honey and Papa, and then I'll say Nana and Papa. Um, and so... I grew up calling Nana Nana, um, but my cousin Colton um, heard Papa call Nana Honey all the time and then started calling her Honey, thinking that was like her name, like Nana Honey. Um, and then that stuck with Amber and Kelsey and Irie. Um, and I'm the only one who calls her Nana now. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, I'm the oldest. I was supposed to set this one, but whatever. It's fine. No, it's cool. It's cool. But we And I used to call Papa Grandpa. Um, but everybody else called him Papa. So I just jumped on that bandwagon, but I really like Nana. Um, so I stick with that one, but I know what everybody means when they say honey. All right. That just needs to dry a little bit longer. Um, but other than that, everybody, we are fini. So I have my little hanger there, which I'm going to let dry a little longer and we're finished. We have completed our little luck of the Irish craft. I love this background. It's a, so for those of you who joined a little bit later, um, we used a silk scarf. Well, silk. I say silk. It's we used a we used a scarf. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, Auntie. <laughs> um, so I used a, a a scarf from the Dollar Tree. Um, that was like, you know, from St. Patrick's Day or whatever. So we Mod Podged that onto a eight by eight flat canvas from the Dollar Tree. So this was a pretty inexpensive one, guys. Um, you know how I like to keep it economical. Man, it still keeps saying my live video gets interrupted. It's gotta be the weather. Um, Cause we got, we got a new router last weekend and it's like night and day. I didn't drop a Zoom call anytime that I was Zooming from home this week. Um, 
so yeah, we Mod Podge the scarf on the back of the canvas, or the front of the canvas, my bad. Um, I had a pack of these little shamrocks, I think the Dollar Tree, some, or maybe Michael's, that I got the pack of shamrocks. Um, we glued that on, and then these, I get Scrabble letters from Amazon. Um, if anybody wants the link, let me know. Um, and so I just did Lucko the Irish, and then we just glued on some of this jute from uh, Walmart, and we got we got ourselves a little little St. Patrick's Day craft. Guys, um, this yesterday when we were at the consignment shops, I got um, some books, like little books. Um, I don't even know what books I got. This, this, so this explains me, right? I get books to use for a craft, not to read. Um, so we're going to do another like stacking books craft like we did for Halloween when we did the witches books. I want to do a spring one. Um, and then, oh, and I wanted to show you what I made with Stonehill. Please hold. Please hold. Oh, are you going to come off the hook for me or are you going to be difficult? It's going to be difficult. Hold on, guys. I'm coming. I know we're, we've been on for a while now. Whew. But um, my flowers just came off. But this is what we made with Stonehill. People pick their own placemat. They pick their own colors and their own flowers and ribbon. Um, but I did more of like a Memorial Day one to put up. Um, so I might do a craft like that sometime soon. But we'll be doing... Um, thank you, Kamla. You too. Um... We'll be doing Easter for the next couple of weeks. I already have them all planned. I am very excited. So tune in, 8 o'clock, Sunday nights. We're doing Easter crafts until Easter. We got some cute bunny things coming. Loving it. Um, but anywho, yes, yeah, so this is what we made tonight. I hope everybody has a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. And I could recite the entire Irish blessing to you, but I will not. But know that I wish all the best and all the luck of the Irish onto you. Um, I'll probably see you on St. Patrick's Day. I might shoot a quick live video that night or whatever pre-recorded maybe of our corned beef and cabbage and all that fun stuff. Uh, actually, no cabbage. We don't like cabbage, but anywho. So, luck of the Irish to you this week, my friends. Have a wonderful week. I will see you next weekend. Thank you for being with me, and always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.